I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Hello everyone, my name is Josh, you time frame, and I want to welcome you all to another episode of my long-form Let's Play of Life is Strange. If this is your first time with the series, do note, you can find links to the playlist in the description down below if you are watching on YouTube, it, that is. If you're live on stream, thank you for being here. Know that I appreciate you folks to interact with and talk to while I play these games, That's why I do this. Thank you very much, Cap. Uh, and we have all the fun stuff you can do in chat like that um, to interrupt me while we're going through it. Uh, that, that being said, if you just want to sit back and relax and enjoy the stream, you're welcome to do so. I do welcome lurkers to the stream here because of course you folks are the lifeblood of twitch and you're still watching so i appreciate you if you do want to join us live you can do so every monday and wednesday from 7 30 p.m until 10 p.m pacific at twitch.tv forward slash time frame hope to see it also just as a reminder folks who are just coming in that we are not listening to the original soundtrack for this particular game because this particular game tends to get youtube uh videos claimed and live streams muted on the twitch side so that's why we're not doing that. Uh, this is we are listening to Dream Beats by Harris Heller, specifically their synthwave playlist. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get back to the game, and we're gonna blow things up. <laughs> Cap came back just in time for a beanie. Yep, we have a bomb, pipe bomb. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes. Time to blow shit up. Yeah, like nobody's gonna know we've done if this. If you light the candle. This is so cool. This is so dumb. Get ready to haul ass. That was so fucking cool. Wee, 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 wee. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Get what we want, rewind time. There's nothing I can interact with. There's only one way around this. Open, she can't cheat with a rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. <laughs> Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no what did I miss? Oh my goodness, explosion! How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, Nathan, anybody. I'm on the case. Oh, 
Oh. Alright. Is Lil' a bummer? Oh, please. I just wanted to see if you knew you were supposed to. I see your incredible arm. <laughs> this pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Update. At present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at the Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete detail. Brief summary. Kate Marsh represents the very best of students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is completely outstanding, along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her regular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on KBA 7 News, and her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs here at Blackwell. She's also one of the best 10 records in the school. Principal's, Principal Wells, as a school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly, and she was upset but vague and refused to speak further with her. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not unaddressed from other classmates, as is Ms. Fisher. They knew something was going on. Only two more files to go. Where's my... Look at this pile. Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Of course he does. Nathan Prescott continues to tell his historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representative of Blackwell. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for photography. Her GPA fluctuates, and she has acknowledged that she should be doing better. Her teachers back her up, back up her quiet intelligence, so some complaint, some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so. This is a co common student suggestion rather than specific recommendation. Update, despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to be represent the very best of Blackwell can by stopping full student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation of Max's heroism and fun. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Her chase is a gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently, consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to the Blackwell Spirit and Discipline. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Warren is considered as an, exempl an exemplary student and represents longer term victims of science at Blackwell. He has the gift, of course, of gab, depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by a science teacher, Miss Brand. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues to support his bright future. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Um, uh, update. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts. Black will hope for a quick return to continue academic activity. In summary, Rachel Amber is a quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell, with Blackwell as a fulcrum. As well as his Lieutenant Chris Rossi, just want to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on her end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up some of the secrets. We always keep our eyes and ears open. That's all we can do for now. Thanks for your help. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academics. Chloe does little homework is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. 
Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she feels squandered on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Update Chloe Pro Pro Price is no longer a student of black. She eventually I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. There isn't anything else I can interact with. You're not so tacky up close. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Dear Miss Grant, the principal of Blackwell Academy is my glad, happy, fortunate duty to inform you that your petition, petition to block the installation of a new Savannah system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. It's not my policy to take sides in these matters, and we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in this school's operation. However, I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and share your concern for possible basis of arrival. Thank you for your passion for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voice heard. I hope they will feel empowered by the outcome of your decision. Sweet. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. As well as the light of recent outrageous allegations to my son is suspension, I feel that my, my large contribution to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, this situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand the tra tragic event involving Ms. Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious yeah, Mr. Prescott needs to suck a lemon. All right. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescott's dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info, let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha ching Wow, sir. Oh, that's, that's a, a good idea. lot for the handicap. Dude, the there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try the other side. Let's get the hell out of this office, Morg. That would cause other problems, because that would let Frank know. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. It would have, but 
that would cause so much more pro problems. What do you mean not a good? Oh, because if he if he and Nathan were colluding, Weissick says not a good idea to tell Madsen about Nathan. If he, they were colluding, then yeah, he's probably gonna try to cover his track. But I still get the I still get the impression that Nathan is using Madsen in this case and is manipulating him because Madsen, with all his PTSD and all that, I think he's just he's trying things that the the. Uh, that impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. I still think that Nathan, or not, not Nathan, Madsen has technically got his heart in the right place. He's just going the wrong way. Oh, they left the door open. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this helpful once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. I don't think there's anything else to do in here. I would love a soda, but I just get wired. Go otters. <laughs> Go otters. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat picks. I hope the otters will survive. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. <laughs> Boys or girls? Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. What happens if I say girl? Boys or girls? Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Well then. The wit. It burns. Rude. <laughs> Probably can explore one locker room that way and Ryan explore the other. Yeah, that's actually. Yeah, I want to go. Yeah, so that actually is what I was. Th I was actually thinking just that. Oh wait, did I just lock myself in here? Nope. Presto, dude, it's getting old. Try and dazzle me with another trick. <laughs> Boys or girls? Let's check the boys from first then. Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. We get some dirt on Nathan or something. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. I guess I should consider this evolution.
boys' locker room was right. This must be for training kids. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Oh, this is where... Ew. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. No worries, it's all bad. Sometimes. Classy. Oh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Dude. Welcome to 1950. No, that's more, uh, that's 1990s. That was a term that was popularized by Rush Limbaugh. I bet you do. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their... Max Caulfield, moral avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. Rude. Bros will be bros. Okay, so we've got all that squared away. Now let's go look at the girls', girls locker room. Boys or girls? Girls, of course. Ooh la la. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Where does that other sock go? Those are some musty ass old shirts. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Oh, am I preventing her from going with him by going... Oh, I'm going to have to see if I can talk him into taking Brooke into bed. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. What? Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Portland trip ticket. She's locker. That's Kate's locker. She was, yeah. I think she was trying to thinking about running. Sorry, Rachel. 
Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. I think that's everything. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Yes, we get it. Otters. <laughs> Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Now I have the power over light and death. So the big plan is win. Win. Halloween pumpkin. Well, it's that, it's that time of year. Ooh, spooky. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Chloe oh, just couldn't wait to splish splash in the pool. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. Cover in. Yeah. Hit that light. No. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. First, I guess caught. Timing on that musical cue. <laughs> Love it. Wait, when does she have time to change? Oh, she... Time to do or die, Max. I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. I'm curious, I have to. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Oh, I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. You'll have to eat shit now. Oh, for just one picture of their faces when they see my name. Uh, should I keep it? Or is it just gonna cause more problems? Is it just cause more problems? Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. I'm gonna remove names, but I'm not gonna add names. Oh, I'm sorry. A little bit of chaos. Your names are not on just the a list. tiny bit. You'll have to eat shit now. No running at the pool. No running at the pool. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Baby, it feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! 
Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's Revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. Yeah, but as long as I start jogging, yeah. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Thank God. But what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you, like Warren. You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and two. You did not just say that. Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hide! Hide. We have to go now! Where is she? Where'd she go? Make sure you cover the whole point. Are you shitting me? Oh dear. Dude, hide! Like when we were kids. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Hello? Hey! Where are they? Hello?
Hello? Anybody there? Self action, engage! Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. We are so invisible. Let's bail. Whew. Or watch up until the, the Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? <laughs> okay. Into the car. <laughs> okay, so we should probably get a save point pretty quick here. I think we're going to call it here for the night once we get an actual save. And she didn't want to go through her dad's uh, files, or her stepdad's files anyhow, so there's our save file. We'll watch it until we get to control so that we can I can jump into that once we uh, when we start our next session next week. <laughs> Can't sleep, they're both passed out. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. <laughs> it feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they that. get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch. Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since, since you left, basically. I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. so wiped out from last night but it was awesome i have to ponder what kind of criminal i've become last night was only the tip of the iceberg i have to admit it was pretty cool to take over the black world gym today the gym tomorrow the world we need to step it up i still have to be careful yep. how i use my power i don't want to get stuck in time 
That's one thing with when she rescued Kate. She got stuck for a while there. Yeah, it's definitely a copyright. This would be definitely a licensed music moment right now. Yeah, I, I've been hitting buttons. Okay. It seemed on the loop, but it wasn't responding to any button presses. Okay, and... Okay, I need to get dressed now. Okay, but... Oh... Uh, question is, how far... Oh, you know what? Even if it takes me be, if it takes me back, I'll just, uh... I'll, I'll just have to, uh... Run through this before we start our next session. So, we're gonna go ahead and... Shift on over here, because we're gonna close out for the night. Pause the game. And so for those of you who are watching YouTube, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you help me out by clicking the like button on the video and commenting. That'll help me out with the YouTube algorithm. We'll get this video shown to more people. So I always appreciate when you help me out there. Also, make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos come up on the channel. I post new videos to the channel every single day. So it's a great way to catch up on previous streams and series. We've run over here on the Twitch side of things as well. As some of the stuff that I record just for the YouTube side. That being said, you can also check us out uh, down on the doobly-doo. You'll find links to all my social media channels. All right, I forgot. I post new videos to the channel every single day. Got that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So anyways, social media channels down on the doobly-doo. Talk with me when we're not on stream. All that fun stuff. Again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And until I see you next time, game on, lovelies. <laughs>